Well, here we are. We made it to Middle Cove Beach. So I'm just gonna get my backpack on the go now and uh, we'll start our little hike. So, today's little uh, hike is only going to be a short one. I'm only doing Silver Mine Head Path. And it's only 4.6 kilometers in total. Actually, here's the sign. So from here to Torbay is 2.3, so there and back. 6 or 4.6 All right, let's get going Well, I'm definitely glad I decided to uh, take an easy trail first because I'm dying. You don't realize how out of shape you are until you walk up a hill with a backpack on. And my backpack is fairly light, but it's still enough to mess up my legs a bit. <laughs> Why are there so many stairs on this short trail? I think someone's deceiving me. They said this was an easy trail. I'm dying. Oh, can't wait until some year when I'm able to do the uh, more strenuous trails. I'm glad I tried this out first because I would have bitten off more than I can chew, I think. Oh man, I gotta go up that. 
I'm not in the mood to go up that. Coming back won't be so bad at least. <laughs> oh well, here we go. I think that bench is calling my name. Actually, I'm just gonna sit there for a minute and uh, get some drone clips of this area. I enjoy those drone clips. It's nice to see everything from a different perspective. Mud. Three 
me, we're both gonna run towards each other. Just hiding, I'm filming, so it should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? This is why I love walking sticks. Nice bridge there. I think I'm going to go down here and fill up my water. Maybe not. Must be getting close to the end now, because I think uh, that brook I passed a while back was 1.7 kilometers, either that or the bridge. So I probably got half a kilometer to go. Should be smooth sailing, right? So much for smooth sailing. Man, oh man. I feel like I'm just going uphill this whole time. It's like my uh, parents when they used to go to school. It was uphill both ways. be done long ago if I didn't stop so much to catch my breath and take pictures. <laughs> I did it. Well, half. I gotta go back now to my car. But it's only 3.1. One way. That screwed me over. I think I left a portion off in the beginning. Alright. We're not going.
going any further that way, so time to head back. Shouldn't be as long going back, so I'm not going to be stopping to take any drone clips. It's too windy up on this side anyway. At least the first portion is downhill. I know I got some uphills to climb yet. I see the brook, yay. Gotta refill my water, I'm thirsty. I haven't drank any in a little while. Cool Hands River. All right, let's try it out and see how it is. I think it might have been good anyway, but the filtration system definitely works. All right, let's finish this trek. Need to take a break, I'm dying. It's hard to believe that a few years ago when I was in the military, I could carry about 150 pounds on my back and uh, be less exerted as I am now. Just goes to show I need lots of practice at this. So this walk so far has been an eye opener to me. It's like a kick in the balls telling me that, hey, you're out of shape. <laughs> and a kick in the lungs too. And the legs and the glutes, all of it. So that kind of puts a curveball to my plan because I was planning on this being my first of a series of hikes. And this one is roughly five kilometers. And I was planning on doing another one in a couple days. It's about nine. And then another one that's about 12 but I think I'm gonna to have to slow my pace down. I think I'm gonna to have to go shorter routes again for a while, just to kind of get back into it because I'll probably die of a heart attack if I go any more strenuous than this one. Hey, I can see Middle Cove Beach over there.
air-conditioned vehicle waiting for me. Well, I made it back to Middle Cove Beach, as you can see. I survived. I didn't think I was, but I, or I didn't think I would, but I did. I made it. Although I'm not back to my vehicle yet, and I still have a little bit of a, a decline to uh, tackle, but I think I should be all right. Oh, the things you take for granted. Air conditioning, that's one of them. Oh, it's nice to be back in uh, my vehicle with the AC going. It was pretty hot out today. According to my vehicle, it's 30 degrees Celsius. So that could be a reason why I'm more tired than I expected going on that hike. But this hike, uh, even though it's only short, and there wasn't much to it, oops, I, uh, it was something that I've been building up to for a while. Like I've been planning on doing these hikes for multiple years. That's how long this has been in the making. Because I'm somebody, I'm a, I procrastinate a lot. And the reason I don't, the reason I procrastinate procrastinate a lot is because I I'm never ready I'm never ready for the hike for example like I need to have this okay I need to have trekking poles I need to have the right kind of shoes I need to have the right kind of headwear I need to have the right backpack I need to have the right water bottles it's just uh, just one thing after another that, I, that it seems like I can't progress any further until I get each of these little items checked off a checklist and then when I get the items checked off and ready to go anxiety kicks in and I end up going nowhere I end up just staying home that's a lot of traffic today so yeah I just end up staying home and uh, being miserable Just living in my head just thoughts after thoughts after thoughts but uh, I feel like I should give myself a pat on the back for being out today like I don't feel any sense of accomplishment from doing this I know I I know I should feel it and it would be normal to feel it but I'm not feeling it there's no sense of joy no sense of accomplishment yeah, there was some nice views, but even then, it wasn't jumping out at me like like it usually does. <clears throat> but I went through the process, I went through the motions, and that's one of the big things that I've been trying to do the last few weeks is go through the motions. That's what my psychiatrist tells me. He's, apparently, this is supposed to help me somehow, but I don't feel any help from it yet. I'm tired, I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm cranky. <clears throat> so uh, I don't know if that's progress or not. No, I, it's all good. I managed to slow my, like the whole time I was doing that hike, my mind was elsewhere. It wasn't present, it wasn't on that hike, it wasn't on that trail. Like I'd see things and get a couple clips of my drone and sometimes with this camera. But for the most part, my head is just, spinning with anxiety even though I'm out on that trail but there were some times on the trail where I was able to slow down and catch my breath and just relax for a bit <clears throat> actually speaking of breath when your heart rate is up <clears throat> that's a symptom of anxiety I know that so maybe the hiking itself getting my heart rate up and breathing heavier and all that stuff might be uh, contributing to the anxiety? I don't know. I'm just guessing now. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing now. I'm glad I went on the hike. That's where I'll leave it. I, uh, cause I know I kept pushing it off and I just didn't do it. But I did it. I gotta try to remind them myself that and remember that. So anyway, I hope you got something out of the video. At least some of the scenery was nice. 
my talking might not have been so uh, entertaining, but uh, but the views made up for it, I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I wish you guys the best. I hope you enjoy your week, and uh, take care of yourselves. Remember, be kind. It doesn't take much to be kind to each other.